Hey everyone, Jazz here and welcome back to another episode of The Luxury Home Show. Today you're joining myself and Tom in Overstone, Northampton and we're going to be exploring just how much £2 million can get you here in the Midlands. <laughs> Now we're used to seeing London apartments that are more than double the price tag, but less than half the size. Now we want all of you watching at home to watch until the end of the episode and comment down below, which would you prefer? Richmond's is a newly built six bedroom home with five bathrooms and 5,400 square feet of modern living space. From the state of the art cinema to the smaller details like the micro cement kitchen island, this home has been designed to facilitate functional smart living. For any more information regarding Richmond's or to inquire, the details will be down in the description below. We're going to kickstart the tour off on this expansive driveway. It's actually in and out and accessed via two gates. Planning permission has been granted for those gates to be made bigger, so ultimate privacy. And in addition to that, you have these two 250-year-old cedar trees. Over here, we have a double car garage. There actually has been planning permission granted to transform that into a 2,000 square foot building. Look at the front, it's very striking, very modern. You've got that contrast with the dark and the white render. Are you ready to head inside? Of course. Let's go check out the interiors. Let's do it. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't know how this gonna end. Oh. Upon entering the home, we have this light and spacious entrance hall. The window right next to the front door really adds to that and fills this whole space with light, but your eyes are immediately drawn over here to this bespoke feature wall. We have this handcrafted cherry tree that was imported from Singapore, and it's a really sentimental piece for the owner, so. Yeah, very really unique sweet. feature. Yeah. Really cool to walk into something so colorful. Yes, definitely, it's <laughs> a nice addition. On the floor, we have the polished micro cement. It flows into the kitchen, but also through into this study where we have double doors. It's a great space to work at the front of the property. And it also has access out to the side. Oh, handy. Yeah. But my favorite room is just behind us. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to wait for that because I oh, want yeah. to talk about the staircase. Okay, okay. So we have another bespoke fitted staircase here solid walnut treads below, glass balustrades, and then some nice steel detailing as well. Yeah, yeah, it's loads stunning. of glazing Definitely. on Definitely, when we go up, you'll see it in a better detail, I suppose. Yeah. But come on through into my and Tom's favorite room, the cinema room. Pretty epic. Yeah, we love a cinema room, don't we? <laughs> We've got the starlight ceiling up above. The Rolls very, Royce ceiling. Yeah, the Rolls Royce. <laughs> very dark, you've got the plush carpet, posters on the walls, the LED lighting, everything a cinema room should have. But this is a great time to mention as we're staring at Handsome Tom on the screen, that mm. if you have a luxury or unique home that you'd like to feature on the channel, reach out to us on the email on the screen. Okay, should we move on? Let's do it. Back into the very light and spacious hallway. We actually have underfloor heating throughout this whole ground floor and you can really feel it. Yes. It's lovely. But now we're entering this stunning open plan space. We're gonna start here at this end. We have the dining table, huge set of bifolding doors out to a terrace that wraps around the whole house. And then we've got the polished micro cement on here, which matches this kitchen island, which as you can see is three meters long. Yeah, it's pretty massive. Pretty hefty. Mm -hmm. So in here we have some integrated appliances. We have the Neff induction hob with the rising extractor fan. We also have the sink embedded into the island, which I love the look of, and it has the Kuka boiling water tap and sparkling water as well. Mm. and some beautiful pendant lights above this and the dining table too. Yeah, it's a space that's equally set up for family living and entertaining at the same time. Yeah. Like that is contemporary design really, isn't it? It's yeah. somewhere that you can have a family home, it can feel quite cosy, but also a great place to throw some parties. Exactly, yeah. Now straight behind me, we have a bunch of great appliances. Again, these are AEG, so we have the coffee machine, two ovens and a microwave. Fits really nicely and seamlessly into the black cabinets and then you have the fridge and freezer either side. I actually quite like that, the black in here. Yeah, you're never normally a, a no. black kitchen kind of gal, but I'm this not. one might have converted you. Maybe. I think there's enough contrasting colors. It's yes, not all black. Yes, for sure. What's really nicely, I love this material as well. Yeah. We have some breakfast stools this side, making the most of that three meter island. And the light is flooding in here, isn't yeah. it? I mean, two sets of sliding doors on this side, uh, leading out to that wraparound terrace. 
Down here we have a Neff wine cooler. It is pretty perfectly positioned. You know, you could be out on the terrace yeah. enjoying it. Oh no, I need a bottle of wine. Uh, Simply right pop there. back in, restock, and back out you go. Exactly. <laughs> And there's so much storage along here. We have the dishwasher just here next to the sink as well. And then this really nice lounge space. You've got the plush sofa, which is really comfy. Just had to test it out quickly. <laughs> and then we have this Venetian plaster feature media wall. Now, when you're looking at it on camera, it might look like marble, but when you touch it, you can tell that it's that nice plaster. And here we have the TV, gaming consoles all set into the wall and some nice recesses for some display ornaments. And we have the Sonos speaker below here. And it's worth noting that the whole house has an integrated Sonos speaker sound system, the whole house. So you'll see the speakers as we make our way through. It's also outside. Oh, that's cool. That is cool, Out isn't it? on the terrace, it? you tunes. Now, quickly before we leave this space, Tom, let's head in to this. It's like a utility slash preparation room. So in here, we've got another sink, we've got a microwave, we've got a very handy beer machine. What are they called? A beer machine. What like a draft. A draft, that's it, yep. Well done. And then plenty of storage. And you can see that the dogs live in here as well. Yes. And the cats. We have access out to the side of the property too, so it is a great space for that because you can just bring your dogs in after a muddy walk. Okay, so what next? Okay, next we have this lounge. So this is a bit more of a formal space in here. You can see the light flooding through, still through the two windows. Oh, lovely soft carpets in Yeah, there. so this is, it's like a cozy and formal space. It's a bit yeah. more opulent throughout here. Um, you can see that with more like of the crystal style chandeliers rather than the striking modern ones. Yeah, and in a house where it's so open plan, mm -hmm. it's definitely nice to have some of these more closed off spaces that yeah. feel so much more intimate. Definitely. Gosh, can't get over that carpet, know, sorry. It's nice, isn't I it? don't want to leave. Yeah. But then saying that, the I really like the polished cement because, because it's, warm. it's very soft <laughs> and it is warm. We've got the yes. heating on there. It's warm. <laughs> Through this door here, we have a boot room and also kind of like the plant room at the back. And then this room, come on in. It's actually a downstairs powder room. Now, as soon as you come in here, you're actually hit with a wall of heat, which is just testament to the underfloor heating in this small room. Yeah. We have beautiful herringbone style, kind of like slate style tiles on the back, contrast nicely with the brass fittings. I love this sink. Yeah, That's it's a, a, it's nice a really sink. nice color combination, yeah. isn't it? The darks, sure. the brass colors, and then those kind of like concrete. Yeah. <laughs> and then I love the pendant lights in the corner. Yes. I think that's a really nice interior design touch. Okay, that is the ground floor done. So we're gonna head up the bespoke stairs and check out the first floor. There's immediately a switch to some very plush carpet up on the first floor. You can get such a better look at the staircase from here as well. Such a big hallway, isn't it, Tom? Yeah, very, a lot very of spacious. space. Yeah. But first room we're going to head into is the principal suite. So we have double doors leading in here. And look at all that light just flooding on in. Let's start this end and we'll work our way that way. So over here, we actually have a huge terrace. Got planning permission for some glass balustrades to be added there, as well as frosted glass on this side. And you've got the sliding doors out there. Great addition to a room, don't you think? 100%. The yeah. bed as well, Jazz. It almost looks like it's floating yeah. with those. It's raised onto a yeah. platform, isn't it? And I love this velvet headboard and how nicely it looks next to the black panelling. Yes. So nice, Quite isn't it? Quite a Scandinavian sort of clad style. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. it really works. And the ceiling lowers here above the bed, so this space feels very like intimate and cosy, which is lovely. Yeah. Seating area there. And there's actually a little desk behind you, Tom. Oh, yeah. Got the TV here for now, but should we actually head around? Yes. This so is, it's a it proper gets, bedroom whoop. suite through here, isn't yeah, it? You've got it everything is. you need. So we come around and we have a dressing area. This little vanity section I love. I love how it's raised and you've got the mirror and then the matching kind of cladding on the wall. Then through here, a dressing section. There's even a mini fridge down there and some biscuits, I see <laughs> you. <laughs> and then we come in to the bathroom. I love the layout of this room. Switches immediately to some more raw materials, that micro cement as well. Oh, I can feel that. That's so warm next to me. <laughs> Jazz is cold and hungry. You see food, you mention it, you grab all the radiators. <laughs> I'm easy to read, okay? <laughs> but next to me here, we have the beautiful Lusso Stone basins and mirror up above. Yeah, I love that this feels so much like a, almost like a Mediterranean luxury getaway type hotel 
like yeah. the whole bathroom. Definitely, Beautiful. especially with all the brass fittings. We have the toilet hidden around the corner with the push plate on the wall again, but this bath is stunning. So again, it's raised onto a platform. Lusso stone, it's huge. Beautiful fittings, aren't they? Yeah. So lovely. Yeah, and then you can walk in to your twin showers. You've got, once again, beautiful fittings that match the shower frame. Yeah, <laughs> you got there. <laughs> got there. And then I like the recess here for the shelving and how all of those match. Yeah, they're very uniform products. Yes, aren't I they? like it. Yeah. Okay. And then, as you can see, we're coming back into the bedroom. Yes. So I love how that wraps around. It's beautiful. So good. We've got the speakers in the ceiling here and then this room does have air conditioning. I'll tell you what I really like about that bedroom, Jazz, yeah. is the fact that it's kind of on its own separate wing separate, of the house. Yeah, separate and then side. all the other bedrooms are the other side. So it's definitely the most private bedroom. Definitely. We've got some storage in a cupboard here, but we'll head into this bedroom. I think it's either bedroom three or four. So this Great bedroom shares bed. the bathroom, right? Yes, this has got a Jack and Jill bathroom, which we'll show you in a second. King size bed, views out to the garden and the countryside. You've actually got two TVs in here. Oh. Interesting. And Just in case you want to watch something different. Yeah, yeah exactly. You have Love Island Depending on one, on mood. football on the other. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but come on through, Tom. This is where the Jack and Jill is. So through the door. We've got nice marble in here. It's very shiny and glossy on the floor. And like I said, downstairs, we have that herringbone pattern again with these kind of finger style tiles in the shower. It looks stunning. Fittings are the same in that brass and then on the sink and basin as well. One thing I love is when bathrooms, there's a lot of variation between rooms. Yeah. Like each bathroom should have at least somewhat a bit yeah. of individuality. And I like it because these bathrooms definitely they're individual in their design, but they have certain like motifs that carry yes. on throughout, like yeah. the colour of the fittings. Be careful to door there. the door. <laughs> okay, in here's the third or fourth bedroom. And another great size, you've got a mixture of these spotlights in here and then a pitch window looking out to the front where you can see those cedar trees. Yeah. Stunning. Now this bedroom is pretty impressive, isn't it, Tom? Yes, this definitely. Is bedroom two. Walking in, you can see we have a lot more space in here. We're actually in the gable at the front of the house that you can see, which is why we kind of have this half height ceiling. So up there, huge ceiling heights, and then it lowers just over the bed. So it's a lot more cozy. Four poster bed, yeah. why not? Very contemporary four poster yeah. bed. Beautiful yes. in that dark wood. Definitely. And then over here we have, I can open it up, a built-in wardrobe section. Very nice organization in there. And then in here, we have our bathroom. Now the tiles in the shower. Mm. Oh, love it. Once again, herringbone, but very, a bit bigger and like dark gray. I can't quite see, I'm very curious. I'm going to have to come in, sorry. Come on in. Oh yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That's so nice. And then like you said in here, we actually have the black fittings through here. Still loads of sun, even though this is north facing the light that's flooding into these rooms is incredible but that means you get most of the sun in these hallways the kitchen and then also the principal bedroom exactly so now it's time to head up to the second floor and check out the remaining two bedrooms so we're now at the top of the house which means top of the staircase i love how it splits off into the different rooms we're going to check out this one first. The one behind Tom is unfurnished, but it's the same layout. Now, I really love this room. I think it might be one of my favorites. I love the color theme throughout here, but it's the Velux windows that really sell it for me. The light that floods in is so nice. I can imagine it gets really toasty up here, which I love. We have really nice bespoke fitted wardrobes throughout here in that kind of paneling style. Oh yeah, there's some more yeah, just there's around some more the corner. At this end. And then around the corner, this bedroom does have an ensuite, so we can head on in. It's more of like a shower room in here, so you can just literally walk in, the shower's there, and then you have the floating shelf for the black base in here. As you can see, and then toilet there. Have a look at the bedroom from this angle. How beautiful. We're actually gonna head down into the garden now, check out the house from the back, and also the grounds. Okay, so I'm coming out of the kitchen area. I've just noticed that these doors are tinted, which is a great addition. And now we're in the garden on the wraparound terrace. Plenty of terrace space around here. Yeah. Areas for barbecuing, outdoor entertaining, the lot. 
definitely perfect for our fresco dining and the garden is actually south facing as you can tell so the perfect sun trap do not let that deceive you it is a little bit chilly today because of the wind i will put that out there yes hey let's head on to the lawn but we do have a lot of mature trees around so i feel like it is quite sheltered in the actual garden itself the plot is just under an acre and it's situated in a really enviable position. We're at the bottom of a dead end lane. There's no one overlooking you. And if that's not privacy enough, then the property comes with an ultra HD CCTV system. Now that we've reached the end of our tour, we want you guys to share your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think the pros and the cons of living somewhere like this opposed to central London is and vice versa? But most of all, we want to know where you would rather live so we can keep bringing you tours in the places you love. Like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Hi everyone, Tom here and welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. Today you're joining Jazz and myself in Hampstead, a community favoured by some of Britain's most famous faces. Within its boundaries, there are more millionaires than any other area in the United Kingdom.